Greetings, once again, Hallowed Tarnished, and welcome back to the resplendent glow of Elden Ring. Last time on Elden Ring, we attempted to cut down the cancerous ulcerated tree spirit within the Wardag Catacombs. We revisited the Celia Hideaway in the hopes to shatter the trio of rock crystallions. Next, we scheduled a closed cage match with the Blackblade Kindred, ultimately triumphing over him as our first boss kill of the stream. Next, we pursued some more of Ronnie the Lunar Witch's side quest, and after besting the Baleful Shadow, make our way to the Altar of Moonlight to bring down Adula, the mighty Glintstone Dragon. After felling the Glintstone Wyvern, we descend far below the Moonlight Altar to the rended flesh of Ronnie's two fingers, and become betrothed to the Lunar Princess. Afterward, we make an effort to assassinate Electo, ringleader of the Black Knives, who curtly gives us the impression that we may be better off pursuing another occupation. After our attempted assassination on Electo, we return to the broiling magma pits of Mount Gilmer, and mortally wound the magma wyvern, dwelling within. The last stop on our kill list came in the form of Crucible Knight Ordovis, male counterpart to the Crucible Knight Siluria, found deep within the dark depths of the Deep Root. After cutting down the twin Crucible Knights, we force our way into Lanedell, the resplendent royal capital felling both the Erdtree Avatar and the Crucible Knight within. Progressing through the many terraces of the capital, we descend far below to the cesspits of the subterranean shunning grounds, and after navigating its perilous narrow pipeways, we find ourselves at the Altar of the Forsaken, dwelling place of Moog the Omen. After the massacre of Moog, we resurface once again to the city's golden streets, and fell the golden shade of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord in order to make our way to Morgoth, the Omen King, who awaits us at the crest of the royal capital. Welcome back to Elden Ring. My plans for this stream entail finally ascending the Grand Lift of Rold and making our way to the majestic, wintry mountaintops of the lands between, homeland of the Giants, where a great war against the Erdtree was once waged. While atop the glacial boreal peaks, I hope to conquer a multitude of caverns, Grave rob some crypts and catacombs, visit Uncle Neal far atop Castle Saul, and last but certainly not least, pay a visit to the jolly ginger fire giant that awaits high above at the Grand Forge upon the peaks. So welcome back to Elden Ring. So first of all, just to catch you guys on what I've been up to off screen, so you know what I've been up to. We are using Morgoth's Curved Sword, because I love it, it's fucking amazing, it's incredible. We're also using the Sword of Night and Flame, which I heard is a very good weapon for int faith builds, so I figured it'd be good for me, seeing as how I'm going to be specking very highly into both. And last but not least, we have our trusty Misericorde. I always forget how to pronounce this weapon, because it's really fucking weird. We are still rocking the Godslayer seal for our faith incantations, and this is our drip. So this is the set we're rocking. We have Alberich's pointed hat, we have the Fire Monk armor, we got the Fire Monk gauntlets, and we have the Scale Greaves. So, just to show you guys my level, this is the level that we're currently at, which again, I know is a little bit high, but it's okay, we'll be getting there. It's fine, we're gonna be balanced out here pretty soon, and honestly, this game is still a metric amounts of bitch, so. Without further ado, let's get rolling. So, our first stop, where we're off to, is we have some unfinished business with the Dung Eater in the underground roadside, so let's head there first. And I'm hoping that I leveled off screen, so now I'm not carting around 5 billion runes, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Also, let's hopefully remember how to get to this fat bitch. Not that fat bitch, not that Look fat bitch. Look at me, I'm Peter the Pan. Other fat bitch. I'm a little boy forever. <laughs> Awful lot of rats down here, Miyazaki. These are like the sewers from Dark Souls 1, where you have to fight Kirk, the Knight of Thorns, where he invades you. And you have, like, two Estus because you fucked all your Estus off not knowing that you were going to get invaded. So I remember the Dung Eater is, like, insanely hard. So I have no idea how rough this dude is going to be. I'm hoping that I can outpoison by abusing my skill and spamming the high shit out of it. But I doubt that's going to happen like that. Also, I know I said I wasn't going to be killing any NPCs, but I lied. This dude must die. Oh my god. Dude, Elden Ring is fucking absurd with its stun lock. I swear to Christ, I could not move out of any of that whatsoever at all. Okay, I need to hold my face so I can fucking spam this bitch. 
See, look at that. Like, it kept moving. Even though it rolled, like, even though I rolled away from it, it accounted for the fact that I had rolled. It's pretty insane. All right, dung man, let's go, buddy. Oh, did I really miss at point blank range? Oh, man, he sounds pissed. Is he pissed? Yeah. I was gonna say, is he pissed? Haha, <laughs> you're stupid. Stupider than I thought. Oh, no, he rolled. I don't know what that is. Oh, he hurts a lot. Oof. I don't think so, fat boy. Not that easily. What? Drink the potion, asshole. Well, I can just knock him out of that? Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh man, this guy's like really stupid. Like really, really stupid. Oh, what's the matter, bitch? Can't drink anymore? Huh? Oh, I can just knock you out of that. What? Oh man. Holy shit. He just one-shot me. Holy fu- Okay. Alright, we take those. That's fine. I was a little bit apprehensive. I didn't go for my skill right away. Okay. Cool. Good to know that even when I strategize in this game, nothing matters. I love it. Man, I thought we had that too. Shit. Alright. I didn't know he would one-shot me. I didn't know that counted as an AoE. I thought it just sent projectiles after me that were really hard to avoid. Okay, well that's kind of shit, but whatever. It's kind of my own fault. I shouldn't have hesitated. I didn't expect that to one-shot me, though, so that's kind of bullshit, but whatever, we take those. It ain't no fucking pride that we can't reclaim. It ain't no pride we can't get back. He's going down this time for fucking sure. I'm not gonna let you fucking run a train on me and defile my corpse. You fat motherfucker. And I know I shouldn't fat shame him, that's very rude to do, but he did kill me. It wasn't even a deserved kill, either. It wasn't even earned, it was just like an insta-kill, so... We don't respect that in this house. Are you joking? Oh, hell yeah. Maybe he's on my side. I don't think he's on my side. Yeah, are you gonna kill them? Cool. Okay, that is kind of bullshit. Dude, the fact that he just spammed that? Dude, this guy is a bitch. Holy fuck. But he's not even hard. That's just kind of cheap. I'm not going to hold you. Like, the force that... Like... The fact that I'm kind of just forced to roll spam that is kind of ridiculous. I can't even get close to the fucker. What, dude? I can't move out of that. What the fuck? That's not fair. I don't mind him hitting me, but don't fucking stagger chain me. That's bullshit. bitch. I mean, I chugged, to be fair. What? Why? The fuck? He didn't take anywhere near as long that time. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The fact that he can just fucking unleash that anytime he wants is kind of bad. What the fuck, dude? Do you see how much he hit me for? That was one hit, dude. Holy shit, Christ. Alright, well, that's that guy down. Omen Helm. Omen Armor. Omen Gauntlets. Omen Greaves. And the Sword of Milos. The one thing that he carries on his person that isn't named Omen something. We only respect shit eaters in this house? Yeah, apparently there's more than one. Me. God damn, dude. That guy is fucking nuts. I don't remember him being that bad. I just remember him hitting really hard. I don't remember him spamming that fucking skill over and over again. Like, that's kind of the Elden Ring AI bullshit that I'm talking about. Like, again, part of this game seems like it's entirely based upon skill, and the other half of it seems like it's just egregious amounts of horseshit. 
Like, that was egregious amounts of horseshit. Like, I'm not even mad that he fucking killed me because I hesitated. Like, I didn't expect his AoE to fucking one-shot me, of course, but... It just goes to show you that strategy in this game doesn't really often pay as much as it should. Like, you try to be smart, and you try to be ingenuitive, and you try to be strategic, and the game kind of just fucks you for it, and it's kind of weird. Uh, we also have the Frenzied Flame prescriptions, so this is an area that I want to showcase to you guys, but we're not going to be doing it on this character. And the reason being is because I kind of want to keep the consistency of having Melina around. And if you do this quest, then Melina kind of fucks off and gets really mad at you, she gets kind of angry. So, because she already has eye problems, there is this door. Now, you may be wondering why the door is seared and burnt. Uh, this is the dwelling place of the Three Fingers in the Frenzied Flame. And this is kind of past where Moog was. Um, this is kind of a secreted area in the back of the subterranean shunning ground. So, I'm going to show it off real quick. And I'm not going to do this drop again, but honestly, this drop wasn't as bad as I made it out to be. And the reason this drop really isn't all that bad is because there's actually a very unique science to it. Um, so you basically walk down this plank, and then you walk down to that plank. And then you have to do a series of very long drops, and rolls, and precise jumping, and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, if you just kind of mentally map it out, it's really not all that bad. There's only like four or five drops, and they're all pretty standard if you do the right action at the right place. So, that honestly really isn't all that bad. Um, I dreaded that on my first playthrough. I must have tried it like... 25 times before I finally got it right? Um, it was pretty bad. Uh, so that being said, luckily we don't have any cleanup to do because I did all the Landel cleanup off screen. So we're gonna be going right to the, I really should have put a marker here, I don't know why I didn't. Uh, we're gonna be going to the Avenue Balcony because I can't remember what grace to go to. Yeah, that Dung Eater dude honestly wasn't really all that bad, but like his skill spam and the amount of damage that he's capable of doing is a little bit nutty. And that's kind of the thing about Elden Ring, is I don't mind the damage a lot of the shit does. I really don't mind it as long as it makes sense and as long as it's fair. It's never really bothered me much. What does bother me is the fact that I get hit with one greatsword attack, and then I can't do anything after that. Like, I just can't roll. I can't do anything. I can't... You know, like, I can't do shit. Like, that kind of bothers me and pisses me off. Like, if I get hit and then I'm stunned and I'm, like, inputting a roll and the game just won't do the action, like, it won't take it, that kind of bothers me a lot. Um, it doesn't really feel fair. It feels more artificialized and it feels like you're taking double the punishment for one singular mistake. And, like, that just doesn't really feel all that fair. So, we're now running back past the Misbegottens and we're going up the Grand Lift of Rolled to Morgoth's Tower, I believe, is where we're heading off to. It's been quite a while, and we have a bit of a trek to go to before we get to the Grand Lift of Rold. So, we have a ways to go. And if I remember correctly, we also have a giant Gargoyle black fuck that I really don't want to go messing with. Sorry, I meant to say Gargoyle, but like, that's really hard for me to say. It makes me feel like I'm talking about some fantasy race of monsters or something from some tabletop. Gargoyle. I guess, honestly, you know what I should have done for the Dung Eater? I should have pulled out, um, Bloodhound Step is what I should have done, but I didn't have it on the weapon at the time, so I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, but this is how our drip is looking. It'll make more sense when we get to the place that we're going. I thought it'd be a cool idea if we change it up per stream. Thought it'd be kind of sick. We also have an assassination quest up there at the mountaintops of the Giants, which I'm looking very much forward to. Because it is my favorite invasion in the game, number one. Number two, he has the weapon that I want to main. So, I'm very much so looking forward to kicking his ass, or getting my ass kicked by him, and then eventually stealing his weapon. Now, I don't think we can use Torrent up here, so this might be a little bit of a ball ache to get across, but hopefully it's not all that bad. There's also some arrow dickheads, yeah. I remember them for sure. There's no way I could forget these noobs. Oh, come on, man. I really hate that about Elden Ring. It's like everything has the animative frames to be able to beat you in everything. I kind of fucking hate that. Like, I get it's kind of a skill thing to keep people from just going above and beyond and fucking, like, whacking things to death, but, like, it kind of sucks. Really? He didn't bleed from that? Color me impressed. 
I rolled. What, dude? Holy shit, fuck. What is with this game and not taking my fucking input, man? Like, do you really think I would just let him stab me with that fucking hyper-telegraphed shit? Are you serious? Now I don't even get my backstab that I earned. I love this game. It's so fair. No, I'm just gonna quit going for backstabs in general. Fuck backstabs, right? Who needs them? I'll just spam bleed on you until you die. There you go, strats. A lot easier. Because apparently even though you outplay the NPC enemies, you still can't get backstabs in this game. It's kind of ridiculous. If I use Wrath of Gold, can I knock you off your horse? No, I can't. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. It's worth a shot, though. That's gonna hurt like fuck. Yeah, I thought- I thought so, bitch. Stand up, motherfucker. Wait, his horse dropped me an item, but he didn't? Wow. Damn. Gonna put all the responsibility on his horse for getting his ass kicked. That's brutal. Can we use our horse here? No, we can't. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple things constructively in terms of mechanics that I don't like about Elden Ring. Like, there's a couple things about this game that are just fucking bad. Like, the stun lock whenever you get hit by a heavy strike, like the Landell Knights, when they imbue their sword with lightning and do the slam attack, if you get hit by the first part, you can't do anything about the second part, and that just doesn't feel fair. Like, if you get hit by one thing, you should absolutely be able to roll the next part of it. Like, there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to. It's kind of rough. We should probably pop a rune arc as well. Otherwise, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Worse than them little limp biscuit bastards. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Yes. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Four Kings fight from DS1. I'm not going to be able to roll that. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I can't see the other big lad. I have no idea where he is at all. Alright, you, you can fuck off, Big Chief. Man, I knew that had another swing to it, and I tried to fucking back up and roll, and it just wouldn't let me. I don't like that about this game. Like, you need to let me perform actions when I want to, not when you deem it to be so. Just doesn't really feel all that fair, if I'm being honest. That probably should have hit me. That did. At least other Tubby is staying out of it. I was gonna say, that's gonna have a follow-up. That unleashes the things. See, like, that bullshit. Like, I can't roll that fast in succession. What do you want me to do? That's not a me problem. That's a your game problem. Fucking bastard. What is the point of using the face spells if they don't do anything? Really? That's another problem with Elden Ring I have, it's just everything has infinite follow-ups. Oh, I was hoping to bleed him before he got that kickoff. Damn it, there's my bleed, of course. Really? Why can he make that much ground with a kick? That's a fucking kick. Of course, you fucking fat piece of shit. What a bastard. Just R1 spam. Like, that's everything you have to do in this game. Like, fuck strategy, fuck rolling, fuck using your spells and your fucking faith, divine miracles and enchantments, fuck all that. Just fucking R1 spam to victory. It's ridiculous. Like, so much of this game feels just blatantly straight out unfair. Like, I don't know what they expect you to do with half this shit. Like, you can't roll half the attacks, and then the inputs don't come out, like, half the time you need them to. 
Or like you roll one attack and you roll straight into another one and you can't course correct. Like you can't do anything about it. It just feels kind of unfair and one-sided in this game. And Dark Souls has never been about that. It's been about an equal playing field and just adapting to targets and being able to have free reign to use whatever you want. And this game doesn't feel like that. It's kind of frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. It's just like it has constructive flaw, I think, in certain places. I don't feel like I should have gotten my ass kicked anywhere near as bad as I did there. And I'm thinking if I had Bloodhound Step and I had more iframes that I would have been fine. And yeah, I was gonna say, I think I'm using the Crucible Feather, which is probably why um, Dung Eater was doing so much damage to me. Like, I remember him hitting really hard, even without wearing stuff that makes you take more damage, so that's kinda on me for using that. Also probably why he one-shot me with the AoE. It's Biggie Cheese and his brother Chonky Crackers? Yeah, something like that. So I've heard from innumerable people that the DLC is insanely hard. I've heard it's incredibly rough. Um, so if the base game enemies are running a train on me this hard, I'm a little bit concerned when it comes to the DLC. But we're still gonna do it regardless, of course. Because there's no way I paid $40 for no fucking reason. Right, now we have Morgoth's Great Rune. I have no idea what Morgoth's Great Rune does. Also, I don't recall how to get to the Grand Lift of Worlds, so somebody's gonna have to direct me, because I don't remember. Either that or I'll just be dicking around for like 20 hours until I find it myself. I think it's actually marked on the map, if I remember correctly. What does Morgoth's Great Rune do? Greatly raises maximum HP. But this raises all my attributes. Hold on. So if I take this one, am I rolling in heavy? No, I'm still in mid-load. Okay, alright. If I'm in mid-load, I'm gonna roll with Morgoth's Rune for now. How much does it increase my health by? Not a lot, really. Really doesn't feel like it's changed all that much. Oh, that's because the rune isn't active, that's why. I have to use another rune arc. I forgot when you replace one great rune with another that you have to, like, redo your buff. Yeah, that's a pretty chonky difference. Yeah, that's like a 400, 500 extra health pool. That's pretty damn worth it, I would say. That's gonna up my survivability quite a bit. That's probably the great rune I was rocking on my other character, and that's why I felt like I was so immortal. Until I got to Melania, and then Melania showed me just how mortal I was. She took her boot off, and she ran her socks all up and across my nose, and I was like, oh shit. Now I know where I really stand. Usually I wouldn't really have too much issue with that, but Melania was a different fucking story. I was on Melania for about like four or five hours. I don't want to talk about it. So, question is, how do we get to the Grand Lift? The Grand Lift is over there, but I don't know how to access that point. Unless... No, because this is the wall, isn't it? So I would have to be within Landau, the royal city, to be able to get over there, right? Huh. So I don't know where the Grand Lift of Rold actually is. I remember, like, I swear to god you have to go through Landau to get to it, but I don't remember where, and I don't remember how. This is it, isn't it? This is the mountaintops. This is why I was so goddamn confused. Yes, this is the right way. Okay, thank Jesus. Alright, we found it. Not a problem. Forbidden Lands. Except for when we enter this bitch, because then it's not so forbidden anymore. What's that? FromSoft loves doing this. They love just, like, hiding white sparklies on the outskirts of levels where there's cliffs and stuff. Usually they have a gargoyle camping up in a tree to come and, like, crack your skull open when you bend down to pick it up, but not this time. I also remember there's some sort of an invasion here, if I recall correctly. I also can't see Jack Diddley Dick in front of me, so this is going to be a little bit sketch. There's also Vulgar Militia, man. Hey, you know what? Let's have a hearty run through this area. Until we get to the big scary black thing, which I'm going to avoid at all costs, because I really don't want to fight another one of those right now. But we'll kill all these stupid little pushover mini-men. Until they, like, gangbang the shit out of me. Like right now. I like their little monkey noises they make. Kind of adorable, really. Until there's like ten of them making the same noise, and then you realize how fucked you are, and you're like, whoops, I've made a very grave mistake. Okay, so there's nothing here? Nothing more? Okay. No caves or caverns, no stupid catacombs, no crypts that I have to spelunk. Nothing like that. There's flags everywhere. That's a good sign, I'm sure. That looks like a death cliff. Hello, Sunny. I heard the sound effect, and I realized too late what it was. I did not roll in time. 
Hello? Oh, you... That dude, that... Mm? Miyazaki? That's fucking hacks, asshole. You can't rig the race against me like that, you fucking dick. What a bastard. You think Miyazaki gives a fuck? He doesn't care. He doesn't give two shits. Oh, lovely. Speak of the devil. You know what they say, say Miyazaki's name and you get a fucking jar full of poison. Great. Oh, no, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't trust that for shit. Any more of the- one of- any more than one of those little bastards and I get like an aneurysm. It's not happening. Are you a beetle that I have to kill? Do you have something good? Just in the event that you have something good, I'm gonna murder the hell out of you. Or not. Or not. You know, right when I was starting to get a bad feeling about there being an easy-to-kill bug, I turned around instinctively, and there's a little fucking vulgar militia man throwing beast claw at my ass. I love it. God, this game is so good. Okay, there's some more little Silverulean beetles that I don't really think I need to kill. I was gonna explore this area, but it seems to be nothing more than just the same shit over and over and over again. This is kinda different. Ooh, hell yeah, I needed that. I think I need a six, too, actually. Oh, I also need that. Give me that. Hell yeah. Like, two more tiers and I get an upgrade. And I fucking need it. It's like the second stream in a row I've biffed it straight out the gate to some ungodly what the fuck. Oh no, this is... Mm -hmm. This is where the man is. I remember. Hello! Prepare for trouble. Make it double. They just had to give you the worst asshole in the game to double up to, huh? I think I would rather deal with an army of like 50 of those vulgar militia soldiers at once than deal with another black blade. In all honesty. I do not like the black blade. Let's talk to the finger maiden, bitch. Couldn't have given me directions sooner? Pfft. Pshaw. I'm a FromSoft protag. Nothing is forbidden to me. What are the other nine? Oh. So destined death is the magic that is produced by the Erd Tree. It's the natural law of everything, yeah? That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So the natural law of the Golden Order must represent life itself. That's interesting. Okay. I know this game has a lot of religious themes and ideas of gods about it because... From what I understand, Merica and Radagon are one in the same, I think. If I'm understanding things correctly. Like, they're one entity. Like, they are each other's other halves or something like that. And then the demigods are all their children. So, like, Radon, Melania, um, Rikard, Like, those are all their offspring, pretty much. And they're in a constant struggle of war for the rune. Or, uh, for the, uh, Elden Ring. But they're all bearers of one fragment of it, I think. Look, this guy just got glowing red eyes. What is this, God of War? Come on, dude. You don't need moving statues and fancy platforms to get my rocks off. That's Sony Santa Monica's job. FromSoft's forte is heavy doors. It's like a really big kink for Miyazaki. That's what gets him off the most. It's like when you have to really, like puts your all into a door and it goes and it just like opens really wide and it takes like 30 minutes to open. He loves that kind of shit. It's like ASMR for him. He's a sick, depraved, twisted bastard, that Miyazaki. He's weird. Right, so granted that we don't have the other half of the Halig Tree medallion and this stream is going to be almost entirely devoted to undertaking the mountaintops of the giants, uh, our red-headed... Step Queen is going to have to wait for another stream. But yes, welcome to the Mountaintops of the Giants. 
This place is very, very picturesque, and the Erd tree can be seen in the background. It's pretty glorious and glowy and magnificent and gold, and it's pretty cool, I guess. Not as cool as Mountaintops of the Giants, though. There are some areas of this place that I fucking hate, and we are going to be visiting one of them this stream, and it's called Castle Sol, and it's a piece of shit. Because Miyazaki decided to put gravity-defying fucking greatsword-wielding death knights in it. Oh yeah, and by the way, they don't wield just one greatsword. No, 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 that would be too easy, said Miyazaki. Make them do fucking aerodynamic acrobatic cartwheels through the air with double greatswords. Said Miyazaki. So unto the people, they designed fucking gravity-defying death knights with air... Road dynamic capabilities. And I don't like them very much. And we will be meeting them eventually, and they are very not fun. So, that being said, I don't remember where anything is in this map, except, like, one thing. These birds suck ass. Oh, you know what? I got an idea. Oh! Fucking bastards! Ah! You know, two can play at that game, asshole! Ah! Ah! How do you like that shit? Avian fuck! That's right, I picked up a trick or two. I went to Catholic school and got some fucking incantations. What now, bitch? Golden and ten, cool. Alright, that was kind of worth it. I don't know if it was worth it getting my jugular taloned out by fucking death birds, but, you know. Uh. Oh, spirit trees are nice. Spirit animals? Oh, that's cute. That's cool. They really should have honestly put an item on top of there so, like, people run up here with a horse and you have to do, like, a giga jump to get across there. That would have been kind of neat. So I don't remember what any of the other bosses are in this area aside from the main one and the one that awaits atop Castle Saul. I don't really remember anything else. I do remember these fucking dudes being kind of shitty. I think their moveset gets really, really wacky if I remember right. And there's fucking 20 of them all over the fucking place. They have a lot of health, too. Uh, I'm trapped in a wall that I cannot see, game. Like, how is that my fault? Like, how am I supposed to know there's a wall there? Like, I just started hitting the guy, and then it's like, oh, you're stuck on a wall, and you can't even see anything. Okay. The Elden Ring classic. I love it. 